So we, we talked about this 360 degree view and we talked about needing to get insights and, and John's showing um, a few of the, the, just the standard reports that come with um, fundraising and engagement. Um, but we we want to go we want to go deeper than that. Um, so John's actually going to show you um, some things that we have developed ourselves um, in, with Power BI around the fundraising engagement data. But the benefit of Power BI is it just doesn't it, it can be any essentially any obviously any data in your common data model um, we can use with Power BI. But if you have other data sources out there, so if you don't if you use a different finance system or you have a you know. A, HR system or, or whatever is relevant, um, you can you can bring it all into a single place and and use Power BI. So John's got some things that are specific to fundraising engagement to show us today, but really the sky's the limit with Power BI. Yeah. So I guess what we've done is we've created a few a few uh, dashboards. So one of the things you can do with D365 is you can embed Power BI. So again, another product in that stack, in a, in the whole solution stack of where you can create those. Uh, really nice looking reports that you can drill through and click around in. Um, and what we'll do is quickly just show you um, an example of what one of those can look like. So this is pulling directly off the data within D365. Um, but as I said, that can be extended. So, you know, just if you think of where all the uh, other parts of where your data may sit, you can be um, interacting with that as well. So this will allow you, allow you to click around and be able to um, tell a bit of a story with the data as well. So I'm looking at you know, different transactions. I can look at just the ones that I've got in progress as an example. When I click on that, then the whole report will change and just show me what's actually in progress and how that's broken down by payment type or by, by campaign. So it really helps you drive through that data and, and tell that story. So some of the other ones that we've got there are just, there's also like an appeal um, analysis. But if you think of all the different functions of your um, operation, and that's, when you think of bringing that data back in and being able to interact with it, uh, there's, a, there's, there's a lot of power there. And again, with because that's using Power BI, it doesn't mean that you have to be within D365. If you've got users or maybe operational users that sit at that sort of higher level um, that want to just see the Power BI report, then they can just launch that through Power BI and it'll still be interacting and showing the data. So again, you know, you're using the system that you use the most. Um, having that interaction where it can tell you everything means you're not flicking in and out of different solutions. But if you've got people that only have access to certain solutions like Teams or Power BI or, um, you know, sort of just the regular office products, that's where you can be interacting with the whole um, fundraising and engagement platform.